So what are uroliths? Uroliths, or otherwise known as urinary stones, are a very common condition in guinea pigs and can be very painful and in some cases even life-threatening. Urinary stones can be found anywhere along the urinary tract, including the kidneys, ureters, bladder and urethra. So how do urinary stones form? Calcium is a normal nutrient that's usually excreted in the urine. However, if there is an excess of calcium in the body, it builds up in the urinary tract and forms what we call sludge. This sludge can be very difficult to excrete as it can be very dense and sediment. Over time, uroliths, or small stones, can form, which can cause localised pain and inflammation as they make their way down the narrow tubes of the ureters or urethra and bounce around inside the bladder. If these stones get large enough, they can completely obstruct the urinary tract, preventing the guinea pig from being able to excrete urine, which is life-threatening. There are a number of things that can increase the risk of your guinea pig developing urinary stones, and the most common include reduced water intake, which can lead to more concentrated urine and reduced excretion, Obesity or reduced activity, such as a small cage size or other health conditions that result in reduced mobility. Kidney disease or urinary tract infections. And most commonly, high calcium diets, such as lucerne or alfalfa hay, pelleted mixes that contain lucerne and seeds, and various high calcium vegetables. So what might you notice if you think your guinea pig may have urinary stones? One of the first things people tend to notice is darker or red coloured urine, or urine with a gritty texture. Did you know that red urine is not always blood and can be pigments from eating red coloured food? Your vet can perform a simple test on the urine which involves spinning it down very quickly to separate any blood, which can help to differentiate between the two. Vocalising when urinating or when you are touching the abdomen. Remember, urinary stones can be very painful and cause a lot of inflammation. Straining to urinate, urinating small amounts frequently, or dripping urine could all indicate a urinary problem. You might also notice urine scalding of the skin if they are leaking urine or sitting in wet patches. Veterinary care should always be sought if you are concerned about your guinea pig's urination. So how do we treat urinary stones? Firstly, we need to create a balanced diet. Calcium is an essential nutrient for guinea pigs and is required for healthy bones and teeth. But too much can result in excess calcium excretion and stones, so it's important to feed a nice balance. Some vegetables that are very high in calcium and should be restricted to a few meals a week include spinach, kale, parsley, dill and beetroot leaves. Remember, urinary stones can be very painful and pain relief should be sought through a consult with your veterinarian. Sometimes surgery is required to remove large stones from the urinary tract that cannot be passed on their own. Your guinea pig will likely require some tests such as a blood test to check kidney function, urinalysis to look for crystals and bacteria, and imaging such as an x-ray or ultrasound to help diagnose. Your guinea pig will likely require an anaesthetic and your vet will try to retrieve the stones either by flushing with catheterization or removing them directly from the bladder. It is recommended to send the stones and some urine to the laboratory for further testing to see if antibiotics and other medications are also required in case of urinary tract infections. Thank you for watching. We hope you learned something and don't forget to follow us on socials for more fun piggy content. Thank <laughs> you.